Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Who's ready for some card making tonight? Me. Oh, I'm going to wait for some of you guys to come on. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Um, Let's see. I What did I do this weekend? Friday? I think I stayed home. Thursday we went to the zoo. That was so much fun with the kids. I love the zoo. And it was funny because Haley told me, she's like, Mom, I'm so glad that you came with us because you love the zoo. And Haley doesn't really love the zoo, but I love the zoo. She said, so it made it so much more fun because I'm pretty animated when I love something. Maybe you guys didn't know that about me. <laughs> but we had so much fun. Um, <clears throat> Val loved all the animals and it was kind of funny too because... She was a little leery, like when she doesn't really like the reptiles so much. And and I think kind of in general that she was a little leery of the animals. So, you know, Judy says, me, me. So, you know, where <clears throat> you go into the, like the reptile building of a zoo and they have like a railing there and then the glass wall. So like nothing can get out or whatever. So I would walk in and I would sit her on that railing. And I would kind of lean in like this to look at something. And as I'm leaning in, she's pushing against me like, don't you get me too close to that, Granny. <laughs> it was so funny. But she really did love the animals and the monkeys. And on her way down there, or before we left, her mom and dad asked, you know, what do you want to see at the zoo? And she said, lions. And then we got to the zoo and she didn't really care about the lions too much. But when we left the zoo and they got home, they said, what was your favorite animal at the zoo? And she said, the cows. We didn't even see any cows. <laughs> it's like a cute little stinker. But I really do think the monkeys were her favorite. And she really liked the um, giraffes. There was a baby giraffe. Oh, so stinking adorable, right? So, um, yeah, we had a really good time at the zoo. Friday, I think we laid low on Friday. Um... Oh, no. Uh, yeah, Friday, Anna came over with her nieces and nephews, nieces and nephew, and Molly, and everybody jumped in the pool. It was so cold that little Wyatt, who is probably, I want to say four or five years old, he uh, his lips were blue and chattering, and he was like standing there like this, <laughs> really, get out. <laughs> But it's warming up here in Wisconsin. We're supposed to have in the 90 degrees this week. So I'm so excited. That's my weather, people. It's my weather. Um, Tuesday, it's supposed to get super hot. And um, then that was Friday. Saturday, Saturday, I got up. I did my mystery stamping. I do mystery stamping with my team every month right before... Um, before our team meeting. So we have a team meeting on Tuesday night. So I did the mystery stamping project, got all the mystery stamping clues posted. And I had talked to Haley and I said, do you want to go rummage sailing this morning? And um, she said, yeah. And I said, well, I have to get my mystery stamping done. And then I have to go to the walk-in clinic. So I have been kind of not feeling well on and off since May 28th. I think it was the 28th, 28th or 29th. It was Memorial Day weekend. You guys remember, that was probably the last time I was live when I said I wasn't feeling well all day. Um, so I've had this horrible sore throat, some days worse than others. When I was out in Utah, it wasn't too bad. I think the day that we went to Vegas was my best feeling day. But I would take ibuprofen in the morning and Sudafed. So um, I'm thinking, I don't know what's going on here, but I still feel like I have a golf ball in my throat and some days I can't even swallow. Other days it just hurts, but it's not as bad. My eyes burned. So I went to the doctor and here's what he said. He said, in the state of Wisconsin, um, or maybe in the Midwest, I don't know, but he just talked about Wisconsin. He said, usually things bloom, like you get this blooms in the spring and then that blooms and then that blooms. He said, but this spring was really weird because everything bloomed all at once. And he said he has been seeing tons of people coming in sick with allergies, even people who have never had allergies before. So he determined, I didn't have strep throat. I got tested for that. He determined that I had allergies and he didn't even tell me to take any allergy medicine. He just gave me the prednisone. 
So guess who's really perky? <laughs> Again. Yeah, so I'm taking, I don't know, five days worth of prednisone. And, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is still just a little bit hoarse, but I feel great. So <laughs> we're going to rock it tonight. And then I was trying to get my iPad set up here before I hit the live button. And it said that I have a software update. Would I like to do that now? And I said, no, I would like to do it later. Well, guess what? My iPad doesn't listen very well because <sighs> it's doing an update. Like I said, no. Apparently it doesn't know me very well. When I say no, I mean no. <laughs> yeah, so um, who just said that prednisone fixes everything? It does for me. Like it seems like, whoa. Lots of prednisone going on. So, anyways, um, yeah, I was up till 1.30 last night. Well, then we didn't go rummage sailing. So I went to the doctor. I went over, um, pulled into the parking lot at Haley's apartment complex. Her and Val and Dawson were outside. And it was kind of sprinkling, but they have, um, they have a deck right above their driveway. Hang on, my thing just went dormant. Oh, why did it do that? It, like, shut off. Um... And so they were sitting out in the edge of their garage and Val was riding her little um, four-wheeler thing. And the minute she saw me pull into the parking lot, she came running for me. So I had to stop my vehicle <laughs> and wait for her. And I, she came around to my door and I grabbed her and pulled her up in my Explorer, backed my seat up, and she got to drive while we backed into the parking spot. <laughs> and she squealed she thought it was so funny so that's pretty young I taught Haley how to drive when she was 10 so two is pushing it I hope she isn't one of those kids that like gets in the car and turns it on and leaves you know you know those kids right oh good lord what have I done maybe that wasn't such a good idea I don't know oh my goodness I'm just looking at um Oh, Renee says prednisone makes her crazy person. They give you a lot when you go through chemo. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, and um, it just really gives me a lot of energy. It shoots your, it shoots somebody's blood sugar, Joanne's blood sugar up to 300. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that because I kind of like it. <laughs> it works really good for me. <laughs> okay, so here goes my, look at my iPad, what it's doing. It's like, started over. I don't know why. This makes me angry. But anyways, I can see your comments right here. So I'm going to get started. Um, yeah, your dad used to let you drive. Ah, am I going to gay up any cards tonight? Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit I am. <laughs> I love that. I love that saying. It's so funny. So um, if you guys follow Dina and Barb, you've heard all about our trip to St. George, Utah. It was super fun. It was exactly what we needed. Um, it was some downtime that was just fantastic. And uh, we went shopping one day and we were at the St. George Mall and we're like, wow, this mall is pretty, you know, lackluster. And so Dina went up to these this this lady with some teenage daughters and said, hey, we're from out of town. Like, where do you go? when you go shopping and the lady, you know, like, is there another shopping, um, another shopping center around here or mall or something? And she goes, yeah, when we really want to go shopping, we go to Vegas. So Dina looked at me and I went, let's go to Vegas. <laughs> so Barb looked it up on her phone to see how far it was. What? And we went to Vegas just for the day. We were out the door of our hotel by 7 a.m. We got to Vegas before any malls were open. The only thing that was open was um, Dunkin' Donuts. And I said we were going to go to Vegas because um, last week when we were all sitting around the pool, and I'm looking for something. Last week when we were all sitting around the pool at my house, Steve or somebody somebody said, uh, yeah, it's your anniversary. Or somebody said, what are we doing Fourth of July weekend? And we're all like, I don't know. And, Somebody, Steve maybe said, it's our 30th wedding anniversary. He probably did because I don't know that. <laughs> I mean, I know that's our anniversary, but not what year because that's that's all kind of mathy. And I'm way too pretty for math. Um, <laughs> that's a saying that we have with Dina and Barb. <laughs> but anyways, um, he said it's our 30th wedding anniversary. And somebody said, well, you should do something special. And I, and I just said, yeah, we should go to Vegas. That's where we got married on the 4th of July 30 years ago. And Steve goes, no. 
So when we're at the shopping mall and the lady says, go shopping in Vegas, and I said, hey, let's go to Vegas, we can celebrate my 30th wedding anniversary. So Dina, oh, let me show you. Dunkin' Donuts was our first stop. We needed to get a little something to eat once we got there, and it was the only thing open. And um, Dina made a flat Steve. We didn't have a real flat Steve, like we have flat Barb when she's not on our trips. But here's flat Steve, and flat Steve got his picture taken a lot in a lot of different places. The Venetian, by the slot machines, all the good places. So Steve had a great time celebrating our wedding anniversary in Vegas. Yes, and we went shopping. I'm trying to read all of your comments here, you guys. They're just coming through so fast. Um, I did buy myself a nice present, Debbie. I got myself a purse and a wallet. Perhaps people shouldn't be shopping after they've drinking the mojitos. I'm just saying. Because I don't know if I still feel really good about that purchase. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just kind of like, Mur. Yeah, so don't go shopping after the mojitos. But we did play the Wheel of Fortune slot machine, which is my favorite. And then the bartender at the Venetian told us we should play the Buffalo slot machine. So we did. And we won some money on that. We each put $20 in. We won some money on that. And then we went over to the roulette table to learn how to play roulette. That didn't go that well. <laughs> the roulette dealer was kind of snarky. And we came up and we told her that we didn't really know how to play. So one of us, maybe Barb had played a little bit or something. And, or maybe she watched it on TV. I don't remember. Anyways, so the lady kind of explained to us how to play and she gave us our chips. We, we did 20, 40, we did $20 on the slot machines and we did $30 on the, um, the roulette table. So, um, it's a blue purse, Deb. <laughs> um, and then... We're, there was one guy at our table playing and then us, which only one of us could play, right? And so we got our chips and she gave us these stacks of chips and we're putting our chips out. She told us how to do it. And then we're watching this guy. Well, we started playing like him and then she started yelling at us. You can't do that. We're like, well, why not? And she's like, I already told you guys. I already told you how to play. I told you, I told you, I told you. And then we're like, yeah, well, how come he gets to do that and we don't get to do that? Well, she gave him $5 chips. Our chips were $1 chips, and that's why. He was putting three chips on something. We needed 15 chips. Whatever. So anyways, it went back and forth for a little while, and then we told her, I said, well, you didn't explain that. We told her you didn't explain that well at all. This is not our fault. And then the pit boss came over, <laughs> and he kind of standing there watching this whole thing. And uh, he came over a couple times, as a matter of fact, and then pretty soon she was moved to a different table. But she was very snarky to us, and she didn't explain it well. And we were very nice until she started yelling at us, which she wasn't really yelling at us, but she was being snarky. So um, don't get kicked out of the casino in Vegas. No, we didn't. <laughs> we were very nice and polite. We just told her, you did not explain that to us. Why didn't you tell us he has $5 chips and we have $1 chips? I don't know. Maybe it's none of our business. Whatever. Anyways, we kind of learned a little bit how to play roulette. So that was cool. And we, um, I think we won enough money on the slot machines to buy another round of drinks. So that probably wasn't the best, but they were delicious. Not going to lie. <laughs> Anyways. All right. So I have um, a free card kit with a $75 order in my online store. That ends on Wednesday, which is June 15th. So anybody who placed over a $75 order between June 1st and June 15th, you're going to get a card kit using the new host paper from the annual catalog. So I'm really super excited to be able to give that to you. Um, John report. So last time I told you that John came over and helped Steve put the glass in our patio table from storage, right? This time... Um, what I have to tell you is that John bought a new stove for his up north property. Now, I didn't know anything about this up north property, and apparently Steve has been keeping secrets from me because he's chatted with John a little bit about this, but didn't tell me. So, here's the scoop. He thinks that John and his wife built 
a barn dough up on the property. And that's uh, like a barn dominium. It's like a shed that you finish inside like a house. And I think if it's a barn dough, it's like maybe two stories. I don't know. We had talked about um, building that like when we get ready to sell this house to build a barn dominium because I really like them. And then we found out that they're super duper expensive and we probably will not be doing that. Yeah. So anyways, so John took the brand new stove up to his property. So him and his wife have been gone all weekend. I've been watching the place unbeknownst to them because I'm nice like that. <laughs> and uh, that's what I know. That's what I found out about John. He was wrapping. I looked out the window. He was wrapping his stove in this well he was putting plastic pieces all over it and taping it Steve just threw away a whole bunch of plastic he could have just wrapped it up so we had that conversation anyways um I wanted to tell you guys what does that even say oh my Facebook live from 529 if you're watching this later on YouTube um my Facebook live from 529 did not I did not post it yet to YouTube. So I will be doing that on Monday or Tuesday. I need to get all the blog posts ready and I, I, I'm working on it. I just wanted to let you guys know that I was live on the 29th of May, but I didn't post anything yet because I went to Utah. And when you go to do a blog post, you have to be just completely focused on what you're doing. Like you can't be interrupted. Otherwise things get all jacked up. Links get missed and oh, just all nightmare city. So while I was in Utah, I did not do my blog post because Dina and Barb, let's be real, they're a little distracting. <laughs> we um, spent a lot of time binge watching. Um, what did we even watch? Well, with the Santa Clarita diet, which I probably shouldn't even tell you about because it's pretty gross, but it's hilarious. If you could get past the eating people part. That's <laughs> so gross. <laughs> and... Um, I don't know what else we watched, but it was really fun. We relaxed. We had a good time. We went shopping. We went out to eat. Um, there were a couple uh, gatherings at our event in St. George. We stayed at the Marriott where we always stayed when we went to Founder Circle. It was so, so super fun. And uh, got to see people we haven't seen in a long time in person. So that was wonderful. And... Um, yeah. Oh, and then I missed my plane on the way home. So my plane out of Salt Lake, I flew from St. George to Salt Lake and then from Salt Lake to Chicago and then from Chicago to Appleton. So it was a heck of a day on Sunday, right? My plane coming out of Salt Lake had a maintenance issue. I think there was some light on that they needed to get checked. So that took a long time. So the flight was late. Then um, I think they changed our gate and actually gave us a different plane. And then because that one was behind, we got onto the runway and we were number 30 to take off. So we sat there. So my plane was like an hour or an hour and a half late coming out of Salt Lake City to Chicago. When I got to Chicago, my plane was already boarding <laughs> to come to Appleton. So I got off the plane and I sailed through the airport. I got to my gate. My plane was still there, but they had closed the door and it's lights out, baby. So there I stood. So I was so mad because I was supposed to be home at three o'clock. And I guess it didn't matter because it was raining here anyways. But um, I didn't get home then till like, I don't know, 830. You guys saw the video of Val meeting me at the airport. Oh my God, so priceless. Ah! That's the best feeling in the world when you have a little kid come crashing into you. It was so fun. Um, am I doing live YouTube live right now? No, I'm not. I'm only live on Facebook. When I get done, when we get done and I hit the we're done button, then I take that video and I download it to my computer and I upload it to my YouTube channel. Then I have to get my blog all ready. YouTube has to do all the checks and approve everything. And then once they do that, I put the video on my blog and I hit my blog and send that and I release the video to the public. It's a whole thing. It's just a whole thing. It's probably more than you ever wanted to know, right? <laughs> yeah, Betty says she loved Val running to me at the airport. It was so stinking cute. And I had no idea they were coming. Like Steve was coming to pick me up. I had no idea that Haley and Val and Jared and Dawson were going to be there. 
and she just like she just about bowled me right over and when when I grabbed her, she just held on to me. It wasn't like a little quick hug and then hi, Granny. It was just like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you're home. So it was really sweet. No better feeling than that, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. I'm looking. Bingo. We had bingo this week. I'm going to show you guys my cards. Oh, aren't they cool? This is a suede, a faux suede technique. I think that's going to be my technique for this month for my technique club people. And then this is a faux metal technique where you do a bunch of layers of embossing powder, heat set them, and then take a stamp and stamp it in there. You got to leave it sit. And then once this is cooled off, it, the stamp will come right out and it makes you a label like that. So it looks like it's a metal embossed label. And then we use the set sail with the technique with blending brushes. Here's another Wildlife Wonder card. We stamped right on Designer Series paper. So cool. And then this fun card with the set sale set too. So lots of fun with bingo. I think I, um, okay, so Linda Grand For Me. That's your name on YouTube. You signed up for bingo. You played bingo and you wanted the bingo make and take packet but I don't know who you are. I don't know who Linda Grand, the number four, me is. So will you please email me, kelly at estampabove.com, kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, and give me your email address so that I can get you your make and take packet. If I do not hear from Linda Grand for me, that's her name on YouTube, um, <clears throat> I will have one make and take packet left. So I'll let you guys know if anybody's interested, but the make and takes, they were all these cards. So you would need the set sale bundle, the wildlife wonder, whoops, wildlife wonder, and the, he's all that. Okay. I'm getting hot. <laughs> Who said they had so much fun doing bingo? Gay did. It was Gay's first time playing bingo. I'm so glad that you joined us. It really is a lot of fun. It's a card class with some bingo games thrown in between the cards. And it's just really fun and it's a fun way to spend an evening. Um, my next bingo will be on August 10th. We're not doing bingo in July because we're doing a um, July to December. So the JD mini catalog, we're doing a mini catalog kickoff in July. So that's going to keep me hopping, not going to lie. Um, so no bingo in July. We're going to do one in August. My Charming Sentiment class is scheduled, I believe, to go out in the mail next week. Hang on, I'm looking. Yep, I believe next week. So um, Charming Sentiments. Oh, let me see if I can find that. Oh, I have it right here. Charming Sentiments is this sentiment set with all the dies that cut out the words. These are called uh, sentiment silhouette dies. And then it has some fun like candles and like a little dragonfly and some stars and hearts, but mostly it cuts out the words. So it's a very, very cool bundle. That's what I'm using for my kit class this month in June. Oh look, it's saying hello to me in cursive. That's great. And now in Chinese. Can't they just leave well enough alone? See, look what's happening. Meh. I'll get this working yet. Don't worry. Um, put that over there. So anyways, all that information is on my blog, www.astampabove.com. And uh, let me get logged into my, oh, good Lord, into my, I do not want to share anything. Good grief. Just back off. You guys ever feel that way about your devices? It's like, stop. Okay. <laughs> Gay said she loved the cards. Yay. Okay. Um, ask app not to track your Facebook track app to companies and apps. No, I don't like being tracked. I think that's creepy. What do you guys think of that? I don't like being tracked. Okay. Here we go. I'm getting on here. What? Here we go. Oh, there I am live. Look it. It worked. And now I've got my comments coming up. So. Winning, finally. Okay, 
I wanted to, oh, then I wanted to tell you, Nature's Prints, that's going to be the online class that I do with Barb and Dina this month. Oh, so beautiful. Um, if you need just a little refresher, let me see if I can find, here it is. This is the paper, the Sun Prints paper that goes with the Nature's Prints bundle. All of that information, I'm going to be working on that probably tomorrow and get that on my blog where you can register for that. You will can see all the details, so watch for that. That's the Nature's Prints. I also wanted to ask you guys, I just got my pre-order for um, the new holiday mini catalog, the JD mini catalog that starts in July. Would you like me to do an unboxing? Do you guys like that? I don't want to bore anybody, but I could certainly pop on to a Facebook Live or a YouTube Live and do an unboxing video of all my loot that I got. And I have to say that it's um, it's a little it's a little over the top, <laughs> so you can't judge me because <laughs> I got a lot. Pam is saying sure. Okay, Lori says she would love to see it. Yes, do an unboxing. Okay, okay, I just, I thought, I don't know. Do you guys wanna see an unboxing? Okay, well, I'll do that this week. Um, watch my Facebook page for information. I'll probably do it on YouTube. I'll do a YouTube Live. I've been trying to do some more of those because I do a lot of Facebook Live. I should be um, splitting my time a little more equally. Okay. All right, I see all kinds of them. Okay, so I'll do that. My next Facebook Live is going to be on 619, which is next Sunday night, just so you know. No judging. Who said that? No judging. Tanya said, no judging. Cindy would like to see the unboxing too. Okay, and um, da, 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 sharing Facebook Live Monday and Tuesday. Oh, I told you that already. Search email. Oh. I've been having a lot of people not getting the PDFs that they're um, that come with your online classes. You order the kit from me and you'll get a PDF file. So I kind of wanted to show this to you. Oh, I'm all plugged in. How is that going to work? Well, I'm going to unplug here for a second. We're going to show you this. Okay, so a lot of you have Gmail email. This is my Gmail email. And I'll tell you, like, if I'm not at my computer where I can send you, when you say I didn't get the PDF, if I'm not at my computer, I know that I sent it to you. I will say, please do a search for it. Search for a keyword. So, like, for example, my last class was called Sweetest Cherries. If you type Sweetest Cherries in and do a search for it, it's in your emails. It's just not coming into your inbox because your internet service viewed it as spam more than likely so a lot of times I think when I tell you to do a search you're scrolling through all these crappy emails that you get from all these companies that you don't want right you're going through and you're searching that's not what I mean what I mean is right here is a little magnifying glass and anytime you see a little magnifying glass on your computer on any program it's a search and so you would type in sweetest cherries right here. Now this is Gmail. I'm sure Yahoo and AOL and all those different emails have a little search dealy whopper someplace. So you look for the magnifying glass. So when I say do a search for a keyword, like some people said they didn't get the bingo um, link and I can look and see that I sent it to you, but your internet service deemed it as spam and put it someplace else where it's not in your inbox. So you would go to that little magnifying glass and you would type in bingo, hit the enter key and that bingo email is gonna come up. It's the, a, the dumbest thing, but that's how it works. So I just wanted to clarify that when I'm saying search for a keyword, I don't mean to go through all your emails looking at all of them. Ugh, who has time for that? I use that search thing probably 20 times a day. So, okay. Um, prizes, who's ready? Are we ready for prizes? I think we're ready for prizes. All right, we have, there's three ways to win a fabulous prize with me. The first way 
is to leave a comment right here. So if you are, um, excuse me, if, if you are new to me, just leave a comment. You can say hello. You can say, I see that Connie's saying hello from Eau Claire. I love to know where you guys are coming from. So I always like that. Um, but just leave a comment so you can get entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. And my first prize is for a comment. I've got a brand new chamois. And I'm also sending along a stamp case because that's what I put my chamois in. Okay. And when you get these chamois, all you do is you um, run them underwater and squeeze them out. And I put mine in a clear stamp case just like this. And that's what I use to clean my stamps. For commenting on my last Facebook Live, Lisa Nealand, you are going to get a brand new chamois in a case. So yay! I'm thinking Lisa could probably use a new chamois right about now because they 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 don't wear out, but I mean, let's be real, what's prettier, this or this? Not gonna lie, right? <laughs> so, Lisa, watch for your happy mail. Then, the second way that you can win fabulous prizes from me is, is Steve on here? Did somebody just say, LOL, Steve? I didn't see him come up. Can you guys tell me, is he on here? He's up north. He's at South Park. He is working his hiney off. <laughs> I hope he doesn't work it off too much because there's not a lot to lose there. Too much information, maybe. <laughs> Anyways, I've got some of these fabulous artistry blooms, um, adhesive back sequins. These are one of my favorite. Oh, I see Lisa's on here. Congratulations, Lisa. One of my very favorite um, embellishments. I just really love these. There's a whole bunch of pages of them in here in different colors. So this color here, and then there's a whole bunch of pages. But anyways, for sharing my video last time, I have Peggy Merlot, M-E, or I'm sorry, Melot, M-E-L-O-T-T. -T. Peggy, M-E-L-O-T-T. I do not have your address. So if you can email me your address, my email address is kelly at a stamp above.com, kelly, K E L L Y. If you can um, email me and give me your address, I'll get these off in the mail to you right away. Oh, he's still alive. I know I asked him today when he um, messaged or he called me and I said, oh my gosh, are you still alive? Because, you know, he's working and he could, like, fall off the roof or something. Who knows? Steve is on here. So, yay. I didn't know if he could get me at South Park. That's very interesting. Hi, honey. I'm working. He always likes to know if I'm working. <laughs> okay, Peggy Mellot, please send me your address. Don't put it in the comments here. Make sure you email me because it's hard for me to find stuff in the comments again. Next up. I have quite a little bundle going out here. The third way that you can win fabulous prizes is by placing an order with me. And I have Shelby White of Alton, Missouri. You are going to get a pack of Simply Classic treat boxes. These are our little gold treat boxes. There are 10 of them in here, yay. Also, a pack of paper lattice. These are super, super fun. And a pack of ombre gift bags. What a fantastic gift, right? There we go, Shelby. This is on its way to you. Now, you guys, make sure someplace on your screen right now is a share button. Someplace you can see share. Please click on that share button for me. It helps me grow my business, and I so appreciate your help doing that. All right, I think that's it, you guys. I think I have it. Now, I have some mail to share with you, and I'll do that when we're done stamping. I do have all of my blog posts done. Before I forget, I want to tell you, on my blog, um, if you're watching later on YouTube, right under the video is some information that I type in with a bunch of links. There's a little thing there that says see more or something like that. You'll find all the links to my blog, to my online classes, to all my things. But on my blog, I have free downloads. And a free download is a project sheet 
with the projects we're gonna make tonight. And you can print it out, put it in a binder. You can um, download it and save it to your computer in some file that you have on your computer or your whatever iPad. I don't know if iPad does that or not. I'm sure it does. But you can do all of that. Somebody said Peggy who? It is Peggy Melot, M-E-L-O-T-T. -T. I'm gonna hold that up right here. Peggy Melot. Okay. Um, was the winner. So, anyways, where was I? I was talking about something. I don't even know. Oh, downloads, free downloads. So please make sure that you are checking out my blog so you can get those free downloads. It's something that I started doing a month or two or three months ago. And I hear that everybody really is enjoying having those free downloads. So that's what also took me so long to try and get the May 29th Facebook Live on my blog because I have to do all that stuff. And like I said, I was in Utah with Barb and Dina. <laughs> we must keep our priorities straight, right? Yeah. Okay, what are you guys drinking tonight? You know, I just have my boring strawberry lemonade, but I want to know what you're drinking. Squirrel, exactly. And uh, what did you have for supper today? Because I had a blackened chicken salad that I made myself. The blackened chicken is so easy to make, you guys. And it's so, so delicious. Is it Cindy's? Is it Cindy's birthday today? How come that didn't come up on my Facebook? Cindy Ellers, happy birthday. Darn it. Oh, I think I put it on our team Facebook page. Cindy's on my team. So I'm pretty sure that I do have it on there. Whew. Yeah. Um, so anyways, I have blackened chicken salad. So I have this lettuce that's like um, spinach and then all the other funny little lettuces in one bag. And then I cut up red peppers and yellow peppers and cucumbers and I heat my blackened chicken up that I made the other night and I cut it in strips so that it's strips of blackened chicken and um what else do I oh I cut grapes in half and put those on my salad and then I put my ranch dressing and a few croutons not many because I'm not really supposed to have those but oh, oh so good Becky Steve did not cook for me today, but he did grill steaks the other night. And so I still have a steak left in the refrigerator too. They were delicious. Yeah, he cooked for me before he left. Don't worry. <laughs> Anyways, blackened chicken. Super easiest thing I think I've probably ever made. Like it's so easy and I just love it. I think it's delicious. I did blackened shrimp also. Delightful. Okay. I think that we have yakety yacked long enough. Now, to go along with my bingo cards the other night, I said, here, let me get this out. This was the He's the Man, right? Um, well, actually, the stamp set is called He's All That, and it comes with dies. But I said that I had another card that I was going to share with you that was a fun fold. And so when you get your stuff for your bingo packet, you'll also be able to add this card to your arsenal of things you can make with the He's All That bundle. Okay, so I am going to <clears throat> flip my camera around now and we are going to get started. Uh, there we go. Guys, don't need to be looking up my nose, right? Okay, let me make sure that I have everything straight here because I hate that when it's not straight. Oh, we got to turn on the rest of our lights. It's kind of dark. There we go. Oh, so excited, you guys, because Steve is working so hard on the pool. And um, I woke up this morning and went out there, and we can actually see the deep end drain. So the pool is clearing up fabulously. You guys saw how gross it was, right? It's looking quite blue and clear and beautiful. Thank you, honey, for all your hard work because I know it's a, he puts in a lot of time on that pool. Okay, he's all that. Then we have the all that dies. 
These are some fantastic label dies. Okay, so we've got a ton of labels in here. And even if you don't necessarily feel like you need this, these labels will go with anything, literally. They're, they're so nice. I really do like them. So I've been having a blast with them. Um, let's see, I'm gonna put this over here and this down here. And here we go. Oh, well that didn't work out. <laughs> Do you guys ever have a hard time getting them back in place? Like, like the struggle's real. Okay, so here's the dies. This is a bundle when you buy these together. It's called He's All That Bundle. When you buy these together, you um, save 10%. We've also got a whole suite. Oh, what's this? Oh, cardstock. A whole suite where you get this and the dies and the designer paper. And hang on, there's a little package of embellishments. Ouch. That was my knee. That just crashed. Hang on, I got it in my mystery stamping packet. Oh, I think I'll just grab a new one because these are almost gone. Okay. Gosh, I just smashed my knee on my desk. Here we go. The rustic metallic adhesive back dot. So this, 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 and this is all part of a suite. You can order it all together, and I think you save some money there too. But anyways, it's it's in the new annual catalog. So, um, oh, and don't let me forget, I have a bunch of cards to share with you with this suite also, okay? So don't let me forget to show those to you. First thing I'm gonna do here is bring in, oh, we're going to talk about this. This is my monthly host code. And if you place an order with me in my online store, you'll find my online store link right here on my blog. If you use this code, if your order is under $150, I really appreciate it. It helps me buy the door prizes that I give away and stuff like that. Um, if your order is over $150, please don't use this code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have those. So I am going to bring out my pieces here. Here's my stamp that I'm going to be using. I'm going to grab some soft, uh-oh, succulent is missing. Hmm, that's interesting. Hang on. They've got all the new in colors and then something that's out of order. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> I don't know where it is, you guys. Hang on. Where did it go? It must be up. I must have it someplace in a bit. Oh, it's not in that bin. Is it in this bin? Nope. Nope. All right, hang on. I got another one. Sorry. Good grief. Because I have two of everything. I did with that, that ink pad. It's very strange. All right, here we go. This is a brand new ink pad. Now, when you get your brand new ink pads, they have labels on the back. And what you do with the label is you peel one of these off. Just like that. I use my take your pick tool to do it. And then I stand it up. And I try really hard to center it. And you put it on here. Just like that. So now you know that soft succulent. succulent. Whew, brand new, brand new baby. Okay, we've got soft succulent ink. We're going to be using this designer series paper. So what I wanted to show you is that this comes with two die cut layers here okay so we're going to be using some of those so just hang tight i'm going to move this over here and we're going to be bringing in our paper trimmer now this first card that i'm making 
is, let me see what it's called. Um, this is our Facebook Live, okay. <laughs> I gotta find out what this is called because I don't remember. I just asked somebody tonight, triangle flap fold, triangle flap fold. So what we're gonna do is we've got a whole piece of soft succulent cardstock here and we're going to put this in and we're gonna score it at four and a quarter, so directly in half and then turn it and score it at five and a half. Weird, right? Okay, so we have this scored here in half and here in half. And now what we're going to do is we are going to put this into our paper trimmer diagonally and cut it at a diagonal. And in order to do that, you need to take your scoring blade out. And then we're going to pop this down in here. And we're still probably going to need to trim it a little bit with our snips. But I want to show you, I've got the point in the channel and the other point down here in the channel. So we're probably gonna have to trim it just a little bit. So just know that if you have a bigger paper trimmer, you won't have to worry about this. But I'm going to put this back in here again. Need it to be pointy and pointy. Okay. Here we go. Hang on, I'm just gonna move this up a little bit. Now it got stuck on me. This is not the hard part. There's really no hard part. I'm just making sure that I get this straight. You definitely want this to be from point to point and I just keep moving it, so sorry about that. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna call it good. We're gonna do it. There's our cut. I don't think I cut it deep enough here. There we go. Come on. There it is. Whew. Okay. Now, we actually have two cards here. Okay. Now we're going to take... I've got... I've got my cardstock cut here into six by six. Oh, I've got an envelope. And here's my paper cut to six by six because this is how I sent it out to all my bingo people. So we are going to take this piece and we need it to be four by five and a quarter. So this one isn't big enough. Oh, there's another envelope. Oh, and a white piece. I want this piece and this piece. So again, I'm going to do four by five and a quarter. So I've got this. Now we need to take this layer and we need to cut it from the top left to the bottom right. And again, I'm just lining up those corners in the channel. Ugh, I just moved it. There we go, just like this. Okay, so we've got those two pieces. And then we're gonna take this. Oh, I want, oh, the back of this. <laughs> we're gonna use the back of this. And, oh, that's not gonna work. Hang on, let's get another one. You can use any one of these that you want. But I'm gonna do, again, four, five, five and a quarter. These are one of those packs of paper that are great for masculine cards and you're definitely going to want to, um, you're definitely going to want to buy two packs because they're just that great. All right, now we're gonna put this one in and do the same thing with it. Now, why can't we just turn it over? Well, because it's a definite pattern, it doesn't quite work that way. So we've got these two pieces. <laughs> Bless me. 
Oh, okay. Maybe just one little sneeze. I don't know what that was all about. All right, and then I am going to want, let's see, I'm gonna want two and a half by six to do my envelope. Okay, so we've got this, this, and this. Put that back there. I think we might be done with all that now. And we are ready to do something with our card here. Okay, we're gonna score on our score lines. I mean, <laughs> we're gonna burnish our score lines. Oh, look at this, you guys. This is Kelly Atchison gathered together. Yeah, this is a Stampin' Up phone folder that I got when I went to Utah. Um, Tamara Davis made these for everybody. She has an engraver. Put our names on it and our little gather together thing. I thought that was so nice of her. She's such a sweet lady. Okay, and here comes this part. So what you do is you just fold this like this. And again, this is a triangle flap fold. And then we are going to... Oh, where'd my envelope go? Right here. Here's our envelope. We're going to do our envelope right away because you guys know that I like matchy-matchy. I have to do some fun stuff so that these look cool coming in somebody's mailbox. So we're going to add our envelope. Flop. Look at how cool that is. Now you got to make sure you cut it the right way, right? Because you don't want your campers and your trees and your tents upside down. So make sure you pay attention to that if you're using the same paper that I am when you make your card. I meant to show you guys all the stuff that I brought back from St. George. Maybe I'll do another live video and show you my 78 swap cards. What? Yeah, 78 swap cards I came home with and they are, whoa, really, really nice. Okay, so there's our envelope. Here comes our card base. We are going to, now you can make two cards with this, right? We've got this and this and this and this. So I'm going to take this one and put it right here. And just add some glue to it. Our soft succulent card base. Oops, I gotta make sure I get it straight. There we go. Okay, so there's that. And then we're gonna take this piece right here and then you can do another card with this on the top and that on the bottom, okay? So, let's get this in here. I just love all this paper, it's so manly. Manly, manly paper. Okay, and I just happen to, let's see, um, have this and this. So we can do this one, just like this. We'll do it just opposite. So we're actually gonna make two I just happened to have another one of these card bases. I wanted to make sure I knew what I was doing. <laughs> and we'll put this one. Oops, oops. Come on. Oh, there we go. I'm like, oh, you gotta move, you gotta move. There we go. Okay, so here we go. Same card. Now, I'm not gonna do, I'm just gonna leave this one, I'll finish this one up later. So I'm gonna make one for you right now. This is going to get our soft succulent ink and I'm using the Love Bug Van, right? This is like a VW Surfer Van. It says together for the long haul. And I could possibly give this to Steve for our 30th wedding anniversary. Oh, it's crooked. <laughs> Let's try that again. I must not have this on here very good. How did I do that? I did. I need to bring it back this way. Yay! That looks perfect. Okay, then on these sheets, these are all die cut sheets that come in the back of here, right? And I am going to take, oops, this one. They're both the same, so you just get two sheets of die cuts. I'm gonna grab that, and then I'm gonna grab 
Oops, let's get that out of here. I'm going to grab this one. Oops. And then I'm going to grab this arrow. And I think that'll do it. And let me set this back over here. Now, what I like to do, um, and what I did with the bingo packets, is I popped all of those out and I put them in a cello or a clear envelope that I would keep with the paper. That way you're not losing anything. I just think it's a it's a good plan. So I'm gonna take this VW and put it right down here. Super, super cute. This is gonna go on the inside of our card. This really is a very easy card to make and I love that it has the diagonal on it, right? So this is four by five and a quarter. And again, there will be a free downloadable project sheet for you on my blog as soon as everything gets uploaded to YouTube. <gasps> Look how cool that is. Then we're going to take this and I'm going to put it right in the middle. So I'm only going to put, let's see, I'm gonna put some glue right here, just like that. And then I can look at it and center it nicely. Cause I just want this to be right in the middle of my card. And then we've got this little arrow. And we're gonna put that right down here. Ah. And then where, here comes, Here comes our little embellishments, perhaps. <laughs> if I can get them open. Ah, Judith, I'm happy to see you out here. Judith says she loves the downloads. You are very welcome, Judith. I'm glad that everybody likes them. I know they are come in pretty handy, don't they? So now we're just gonna do three of these little dots and this really does add a lot to this card. Look at how cool that is, right? Okay. Hang on, let's look at the whole thing. Here's our envelope. With you, I'm never lost, together for the long haul. Isn't that sweet? I think Steve would love this. And it's got campers on it and um, evergreen trees and stars and moons and fires and tents. So it's right up our alley. So there is another card using the He's All That bundle with the He's the Man Specialty Designer Series paper. Now, I said that I had some other cards to share with you, right? So this one is made by one of my team members, Dion Miller, and I just thought this was really cool. She used the splatters and the stripes embossing folder on this layer right here. I don't know if you can really see that. She's got these all popped up on dimensionals. This is a stamp with a die in the set. Isn't that cool? And she tied some um, linen uh, thread around here, which also goes with this really, really well. Okay, next up. This is a fun fold, and I don't actually know who made this. I might have made it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but this is really cool. Wishing you a happy Father's Day. And of course, that's all part of this stamp set but isn't this neat i love this little panel every day with you is another adventure is dion on here tonight yay i'm excited for her okay this is from my friend don Olszewski, and these are all swap cards that i've received and i like this too now on here she used these two little banners. There's two banners of this and two banners of this. So you can just, they're both the same, right? So she used the two little banners here and I thought that was just really neat looking. So there's another idea. And now we're gonna come in here with some beautiful starry sky. This is um, Sue Souza made this card. She's also on my team. And she used the happy birthday to a classic and there's the number one. She's got that little banner in here. This is our new in colors. And instead of using this, the stripes, she used the splatters. So the stripes and the splatters are mini embossing folders. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's on this layer right here. Very, very cool card. Love this one. And then 
Here comes another one, and I don't know who made this one, but I love it. It's a whole different color, right? It's very bright and vibrant fern 3D embossing folder on this panel right here. Colored this, but this is, this is the same stamp that we used right here. And isn't it just so different looking because it's colored in with bright neon colors. Yeah, so, so many different things that you can do with this particular suite. And here's just a few of the ideas that I have received so far and made. So I hope you guys liked that one. I'm going to get this cleaned up. Let me move this out of the way. So we can go on to our next card. And I'll put this in here. This I'm gonna keep out here. And I'm gonna put these away. Thank you guys so much. Please make sure you give me a thumbs up if you haven't yet. That really helps me in the analytics of Facebook too. If you're watching later on YouTube, give me a thumbs up on there. Love that. Later on YouTube, I've had demonstrators say, gosh, I wish I could help you. But I'm a demonstrator, and so, you know, you order from yourself. But later on YouTube, there's what they call a super thanks right now. And super thanks is like a tip jar. And it has various amounts. Some of them, I think it even goes down to $2.00. But for those of you that have always wanted to do that and not really had a way to do it, now we do. YouTube just implemented that not too long ago for me. And like I said, it's just like a tip jar. So I always appreciate any help you can give me. Oh, there was my envelope. I didn't use that one. I used the other one. Okay, here we go. Da -da -da -da. That needs to go with that over there. Now, next card. Oh my goodness. This is another fun fold. And I know you guys are going to love it. So this card came out of necessity. Because my good friend Barb's son just graduated from high school. And in perfect Kelly form, I am running a little behind. His graduation was uh, right the weekend before we went to St. George. And so I told Barb, I said, Barb, I didn't get a card made yet. And I didn't want to just send him just any old card that I had. I needed something special. So I told her to tell her son that his card will be coming. So I finally got it done. I, was, I had a blast yesterday making it. I think you guys are really going to like it too. All right. We are going to be using the Stylish Shapes dies, and I'm just using this little circle out of here. Let's see if I can get it out, there we go. This is the smallest little circle. These are fantastic. They not only put stitches on the inside of what they cut out, but on the outside on the negative part too, so that's really cool. Okay, um, Celebrating You stamp set, and I was just looking for something. So here's what happened. I don't have any stamp set right now with graduation images in it that I'm aware of. I don't have any graduation hats. I don't have any diplomas. I don't have anything like that. I've just got sentiments. So I'm like, okay, how am I going to make a graduation card for this boy when I don't have a stamp set? And it's kind of like making baby cards when you don't have baby stamps. It's totally doable. So I put on my thinking cap. And I grabbed out the best is yet to come and so proud of you. So Dina and I are his stampin' aunties. That's what we call ourselves. Don't worry. You're, and Dina always says auntie. So your, stop, your stampin' aunties are going to take care of you. That's what we always tell him. So this is how I went about making this card. Now, it didn't hurt that I happen to have been up north at South Park a few weeks ago, and I went to Cindy Eller's Stamp Club Night. And um, I got this idea for the layout from her. So there was a lot of things at work here to figure out this card that I'm super excited to share with you. All right, here comes all our bits and pieces. God, my nose is starting to run a little bit. Okay, 
So here's what I did. I have a Knight of Navy. Now, first, let me tell you that this boy is tremendously patriotic. Like he loves his America <laughs> and he loves his red, white, and blue. So I had to make him a red, white, and blue card. I considered doing it the color of his high school, you know, school colors, but then I thought, nope, he's going to love this America card a lot better. So we've got Knight of Navy and this is four and a quarter by 11. And I saw somebody just said, uh, wow, use the same sentiment stamp set celebrating you for a great card. There you go, Barbara, right? It's like great minds think alike. This is a scrap of Knight of Navy. I've got some one inch strips that are of white that are scraps. And then I've got, hang on, let me put my little cheat sheet up here. I've got a Knight of Navy square that's two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. Two pieces of basic white. And again, all of these measurements, dimensions, and downloadable project sheets will be on my blog later tonight. The inside piece, is two and three quarters by four. The outside piece is three by four and an eighth. And then we've got five or six strips of real red that are half inch by three. Okay. Whew. Now, first thing I think I'm gonna do is, where'd that little scrap of blue go? Did you guys? Oh, here it is. The first thing I wanna do is take and we're going to die cut this little circle out of the blue. The other thing I'm gonna do before I do that, I'm gonna bring in my piercing mat. This is what I like to stamp on. And I'm going to grab my Knight of Navy ink pad. So I'm going to do the best is yet to come. We're going to stamp that on this inside white layer first. Oh, that turned out really good. Okay. And then we're going to grab our two and three, seven eighths, two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths inch um, square. And we're going to use Knight of Navy ink on Knight of Navy cardstock. So what I did here is I took the So Proud of You and I just started stamping it so that this is like a diamond or whatever you want to call it. And you want to just kind of randomly, I've, I've got it. It's not real random because it's all kind of in a line, but I'm just stamping it as if it was a piece of paper that had this stamped all over it. And I just cut the square out of it, right? And you just want to kind of, so you would do, 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 right? There we go. Okay, so this is what this piece looks like. Now, I'm going to bring in, where's my little plates? Here's my little bitty plates. Here comes my little mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. So if we die cut this out of here, we end up with this. Okay, I've already done that. But we're going to take this and we're going to die cut half of it. And this is going to be like a pocket for my gift card money holder is what I'm, what I'm doing here. Okay, so we're gonna run this through our machine. See how I've just got half of that circle on there, kind of right in the middle. And that's what that looks like. Isn't that cool? So like I said, it leaves the stitching on the circle that you die cut and also the negative part. So that's what we've done there. Where did my dies go? Right here. Hang on, I gotta put this away so I don't lose it. All right, so we've got this, we've got this. This is going to be our front layer. Let me get this out of the way. 
and we're going to put our red stripes on the front white layer. So how I did that is I just grabbed my glue and I went like this. Now, if you don't need a graduation card, you can find a sentiment that will fit on here for the 4th of July. So instead of doing what I'm doing, I'm making a graduation card, you can just put a sentiment on it and make yourself a 4th of July card because the 4th of July is a pretty spectacular thing, right? I think so. <laughs> I remember when we got married 30 years ago, um, we had friends and family that came to Vegas. My mom and dad were there. My sister came. Um, my Steve's sister and husband came. Steve's parents came. And I had a friend that was just a good friend of mine. She came too because they're like, yeah, we'll go to Vegas. We're like, cool. Okay. And... Um, we stayed at the Stardust, and the Stardust is no longer in Vegas. They tore it down, and it was a very nice hotel, so it was kind of shocking. Like, you tore it down? Like, you just tore it down. Yep, they did. <laughs> okay, so this last one is hanging off the end here, and all I'm going to do is just trim it. There we go, just like this. So here's our red stripes and let me get this out of the way next what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to die cut or we're going to punch with the starlet punch this is a really cool punch it's got all these one two three four five six different stars in it and i cut my strips into into one inch strips because i'm just using this little star right here so we've got one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need nine stars. Where did that star go in my hair? Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, and I know one just flipped. I think I'm gonna have to punch another one because I don't know where that one went. It went in my hair. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, there was another one. Okay, so let's get all these little bits out of the way. Oh, I cleaned my office today too. I vacuumed. Oh my gosh, that looks so nice. Really impressed myself. <laughs> Okay, so we've got all that done. We're gonna bring in our paper trimmer and we're gonna do a little scoring on here. So we can't lose this little guy. Don't let me lose that. Here comes. Now, and of course you guys, I know that graduations are like over, but parties are happening all summer long. So while I made this card for Barb's son, I'm also, I already have one done. This one I'm going to give to AJ, my grandson who graduated. We're having his party, I believe, sometime in July. I can't remember the date. July 16th, I think. Okay, so we're going to take this piece and we're going to score it at two and an eighth and five and a half. And again, all of these dimensions, measurements, ingredient list will all be in the project sheet. Now... We're going to take, we have just a teeny weeny bit of measuring to do. So you're going to want to grab a pencil and your ruler. And we are going to put a little mark right in half on this four and a quarter inch side. Okay, so if we do four and a quarter, we're going to go two and an eighth. So there's my little pencil mark right there. And now we're gonna cut from that pencil mark to the score line on both sides. This card, by the way, is called a diamond flip fold. And there's a couple different ways you can do it. I'm showing you one that you don't see very often. And then I'll explain the other one. Maybe I'll make another one next week. We'll see what happens. Okay. 
here comes, we're going to cut that off. And again, I'm just going from the score line to the hash mark that I made on the card. And there we go. Okay, now we're going to get our score lines burnished. This one, you're going to fold back. And this one you're going to fold like a card. So we fold it in half, and then we fold this one back. And now, oh, there's my blue one. Now we're going to take this and we're going to put it right here. So if you wanted to make a 4th of July card and not a graduation card, you could put this layer here with another white layer on it and put happy 4th of July with some stars or whatever you wanted to do, but that is definitely doable, right? So I'm going to grab black dimensionals because they're close to blue. <laughs> That's my logic. And we're going to put them on this layer. There we go. Here comes our take your pick two. By the way, if any of you guys have questions that I don't see and answer, please feel free to ask me when I'm getting near the end of making this card because then I'll be able to watch the comments a little bit better. It's super hard for me to keep my wits about me and <laughs> think and stamp and talk. <laughs> like, it's a quite a challenge sometimes. Okay, oh, I needed minis perhaps we'll see okay so I've got these are the combo black dimensionals when you order these you get a couple sheets of the big and a couple sheets of the minis all in one so it's pretty cool all right this piece right here we are going to grab hang on oh here's my here's my tear and tape now I said that I wanted this to be a money or a gift card holder right so we are going to put tear and tape on here so that we can just make a pocket. And so I'm going to keep this near the outside edge. I should have done a little bit better keeping that close to the edge too, but it'll be okay. And maybe just a little bit more right here. Okay, so we're gonna Use your take your pick tool to help you pop this off. Maybe. Arr, I can't get a hold of it. Okay. It shouldn't be that hard, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Lisa says she's loving this card. Thank you so much, Lisa. I think it's pretty cool, too. I was kind of pretty proud of myself when I got done. I'm like, oh my gosh, he's going to love this. Okay, so here comes, this is the inside of our card now, and I am just going to look at my left top and bottom margin and put this in right over here, okay? Then, now we have to take the stars, and you can do this any way that you want, but what I did is I kind of laid them down here to see how they were going to look, and I think that... If you do that, it's just easier to know how far to space them so that when you get to the end, it doesn't look dumb. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to cut stars off halfway. I want them to be right. Okay, so. While this part might be a little tedious, it's worth it. There we go, two, four, six, eight, nine. Yes, that is exactly what I wanted. So then what I did is I picked up my stars. Oh, that was great, wasn't it? Did you see what I did? <laughs> so now we're gonna wing it. Oh my good Lord. <laughs> and just put your dots. Come on, stinker. Put your dots of glue down here. And of course you could use there's another star on the star punch that would also work good for this, but I use these kind of chubby, 
quirky little whimsical stars versus the actual real star. That looks a little more uniform. I'm just gonna do this again so I don't get this. Okay, I'm doing I'm doing okay. And again with that take your pick tool, I love this thing. If you guys don't have one of these, add it to your next order. You will never be disappointed. You guys see me use it for everything. I use it for this, I use it for embellishments, I use it to pick the adhesive off, I use it to do the mini glue dots. Like, I just use it for everything. It's like my right hand when I'm stamping. I'm gonna pull this down just a little bit, there we go. Okay, so I did pretty good with the stars. And remember, this is a homemade card, so. There we go. Okay, so this is what we have. And now I need to make this look like a graduation thinger, right? Hang on, I got some glue or something stuck there, which reminds me, I have sticky kits that come with these sandy racers and gummy racers that help you when you make little mistakes like that. If anybody's interested. Now I'm gonna take this striped part and that's gonna go right over here. So fun. Oh, I think that I have this measured wrong. That's great. This is three inches and it should actually be about three and a quarter, you guys. Three and a quarter. Let me change that here. So this is my white three and one fourth by four and an eighth. I'll fix that. Okay, so there we go. There's our stripes. Here's our stars, here's our little money holder. Now we need to do something and make this a tassel. So here's what I came up with. Um, there's a piece of cardboard laying here someplace. Oh, this is a three and a half inch. Well, actually it's not three and a half, it's only half of that. So it is one and three quarters, one and three quarters. And we're gonna take our Baker's Twine Essential Pack, it has white, it has five different colors of Baker's Twine in it. This is a fabulous pack. And <laughs> thank you so much. Who is that, Lisa? This is, what did you say? This is right up there with the card you made for Shelly. Aw, thank you. You're so sweet. Okay, so I'm gonna take a piece of my Baker's Twine and I'm just going to lay it up here at the top, okay? Because I need something to tie this together with. I'm making a tassel right now, you guys. So here comes our little tassel. And we're going to wrap this around four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you want it to end back down here. So we're going to cut that off. Now we're going to take this piece and we're going to tie it in a knot. This is the piece I laid across the top. I'm gonna tie this in a knot, just like that. And then you're gonna slide your scissors in here. So we're, it's like making a pom-pom, only we're making a graduation tassel. Now, here we go. But we need one more thing, right? We need to tie a piece around here. So let's do that. No big deal. Hopefully. <laughs> Sometimes when I say that, it comes back and bites me in the butt, right? No, no big deal. We can do this. Yeah. Okay, I want to pull this up just a little bit. Looks like an octopus right now. <laughs> We saw an octopus too. Val was not impressed with that or the bats. She didn't seem to really care for those too much, I don't think either. Where's the other end of this right there? Okay. All right, and then do I have this tied in a knot? Nope, it's only single. I'm gonna tie it in a double knot here. See, sometimes this is the futziest part is just tying knots because like I can't get a hold of them. Little beasts. 
All right, there we go. Here comes our little tassel. I'm gonna cut this. Now, this is our string. This is our tassel. Oh, that turned out really nice, didn't it? It looks great. If you want to, you can trim it up a little bit. Give it a little haircut. And I think I'm gonna do that. What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? Now, how did I attach it? So what I did is I took my little circle and I'm gonna grab those dimensionals. Where did the black ones go? Right here. Now, before I put a big one on there, do you wanna make sure? Oh, I know what I wanna do. Um, I'm going to attach this like this. I'm gonna spread these out a little bit just so that I wanna make sure that my dimensionals are hitting the cardstock good because I don't want this to fall off, right? That is like my biggest, this is where the little ones come in handy. My biggest nightmare is I don't like my cards to even have an inkling of falling apart because that's just, that's bad workmanship, right? Okay, look at that. All right, now we can pop the backs off of these. Oh, see how that didn't stick very good because it's on the string. So I'm gonna push it down good. There we go. And then here comes. There we go. Now, before I put this on here, I'm gonna cut these two antennas off because we don't want those on there, right? Okay, here we go right in the middle. <laughs> what do you guys think? Is that just totally cute? Oh, I did glue this down too, by the way. I glued this down. I don't want that flopping around. Okay, and then here comes some money. Money will tuck in there. Let's see if a gift card holder or a gift card will fit in there. If I would have kept my tear and tape at the very top and very bottom, this would fit in there. But, well, that fits too, right? I got it. Remember, I got it a little away from the top and the bottom. So this will fit a gift card. It will fit cash. I'm gonna leave that just kind of hanging out there so it doesn't get lost under there any place. That's why I put that half a circle in there. And then, hang tight because I got one more thing here to go with this. Where did my envelope go? Right here. Here comes a basic white envelope. And I am going to grab just a scrap of paper here. This is just a junky scrap of paper. Now, I wanted to make an envelope look good too, right? So, uh, let me find a piece of white. Oh, here's a piece of white cardstock. Okay, so just take an, a piece of white cardstock and you're gonna bring in this starlight punch and you're gonna punch this out. Now, depending on what you wanna do here, I took these and set them back in place. And as I was doing that, I just put them back in here. As I was doing that, I thought, well, how am I gonna keep them here? Well, I'm gonna tape them. So I put all these back in place because I only want that one star, the one star that we used on the card right here. So then I just took some tape and I taped them back in place. Then I thought, well, that's kind of dumb because you could just put tape over the whole thing if you wanted to and you wouldn't have to like put the puzzle back together, but whatever. Just do what you have to do to get all the pieces back in here so that you're gonna have yourself a nice little stencil to make stars on your envelope. What? Yeah, I know. Okay, so I literally dug this out of my garbage. It is my credit card <laughs> receipt bill or whatever you wanna call it. So then I took this and I brought in my red ink and my blending brush. And I'm going to just put 
red stars all over my envelope with my blending brush. I'm gonna kind of twist them and move them so they don't look really uniform. And this is gonna go right along with my little patriotic theme, America. <laughs> I think he's just gonna love it. I can't wait for Barb to see this. Sometimes she watches my lives later. So I hope she sees this one because I went all out for the boy, Barb, all out. We were able to, um, we actually took a trip out west when Barb's daughter graduated from high school. And it was just kind of a thing that I said, hey, Steve, Barb's daughter is graduating from high school. And he goes, well, let's go. And I'm like, really? And he goes, yeah. So we took a trip to Yellowstone and we drove, we flew to Denver and we rented a car and we drove up through Yellowstone and came down to Sheridan, Wyoming to go to her daughter's graduation party. And we surprised them. They didn't know we were coming, kind of. <laughs> okay, look at that. That was really fun. But we went to St. George this time instead of going to Justice's party. Look at how stinking adorable that is. So this is a great way to use your punches as a stencil. I thought that was kind of nifty, right? And then, like I said, you could leave this part off and just put another white layer in here and put Happy Fourth of July or whatever, whatever you need this for. You don't have to make this part a pocket, but it certainly did come in handy. I'll be able to write on here and tell me how proud I am of this boy. And then we also have, now that was called a diamond flip fold. And then this is our triangle flap fold with the He's the Man suite of products. What do you guys think? Two, they're, v, they're easy. Well, this is a little more involved, right? But not much. So I was telling you that there's two different ways that I've seen this done. This way with this sticking out here is the, the way that I haven't seen it done this way as much. But what they do is they keep this folded together when they cut this so that these pieces right here are gone. So what you end up with is a diamond here on the inside like this, like that. And so that's your diamond flip fold. But I wanted the stars on here. So I thought, well, this will work. And I gave it a try and sure enough, it did. So, yay me. <laughs> All right, that is our Facebook Live for tonight. I have kept you guys for an hour and a half already. It's crazy how time flies. But I do have some mail to share with you. And then if you would like to hang around, I'll show you exactly what I got. All the goodies, the goodie bag I came home with from St. George, Utah, because that was pretty cool too. Now remember... I always, always appreciate your orders. Um, this is my current host code. If your order is under $150, use this code. If it's over, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up, and I definitely want you to have them. You're going to find my store link on my blog, www.astampabove.com. And now I'm going to bring in my mail. Oh, my goodness. I got some pretty mail this week. This is coming to me from Becky Miltenberger, and I just love this layout and the color scheme. Isn't this so pretty? It is a thank you for the stamp set and the catalog tags. Um, thank you for all you do for your group. It is greatly appreciated. Becky is one of my team members. So, Becky, thank you for that beautiful card. Then I have Tracy Baysmore. Good, good Lord, Tracy, look at this. Look at how stinking cute this card is. Yeah, this is the card she made for the new catalog kickoff swap. So if you were in that swap, you might have gotten this card. Isn't this fantastic? She said this was the first time she participated in a swap and she never felt her cards were good enough. Oh my gosh, are you crazy? She goes, thank you for the laughter when you make mistakes too. I love watching you, Dina and Barb, and I love Hap Stamp Happy Academy. It is a lot of fun, right? I love Stamp Happy Academy. I think I am live on Thursday with Stamp Happy Academy. So I will be getting all that stuff ready to roll too. Thank you for the beautiful card. Next up, I have Cecilia Bowman. Look at this pretty card, right? 
It says, thank you so much. Thank you for the glossy dots. I put the cards, I haven't put the cards together yet. I did watch the videos. The cards are really nice. Ah, thank you so much. That is so sweet. Next up, we have, oh, hang on. This is from Diane Gandalf and Chris Myers. Look at how cool this is. Look at, there's a little roadrunner. Oh, that is really cool with the cactus set. And it says, thank you for introducing us to the bow jig. Yay! They ordered bow jigs from me. We love it and also have a good time watching your videos. From Yuma, Arizona. So this is a very appropriate little card. I love this. This is called a bridge card. Another fun fold that's fun. And I think that is all the mail I got. And now I think what I'll do is show you guys. Oops, there went my paper cutter. I'll show you guys my loot that I got when we were in St. George. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'll turn my, I'm gonna turn my phone back around. So hang tight. If we get disconnected, I'll come back on. Don't panic. And I took my crown off because it was falling into my face. Let's get it back on. So for those of you that may not know, I've had people ask me why I wear a tiara when I stamp or when I come on here. And I only do it for Facebook Live. It's something that I started doing from day one when I started doing Facebook Lives. And I think that we all stamp better if we're wearing a tiara or a crown, right? You should try it. <laughs> I just feel like I can stamp better when I look like this. <laughs> okay, check out this bag. So this was from our St. George, Utah trip. We all got this bag and then it was filled with loot. And one of my favorite things that we got in here is the light board. Isn't that cool? I know it's backwards. It says Kelly, gather together. This was our gather together, get together. So I got that and okay, so this was the light box and we got make and takes. So we have this little pack of make and takes that we get to make some cards from. And I didn't make my make and takes at the event. So I will make them afterwards, but we got a PDF like the downloads that I have on my blog for you. We got PDF so we can make the cards when we get home. Um, I got a million thanks card kit. Remember, that's the card kit that I shared with you guys last time I was on. So if you missed that, this is a million things card kit, which reminds me. Right now, all of our kits are buy one, get one 50% off. And here's the thing. I thought that you would put the most expensive one in and then the lesser costing one, and you would get that at 50% off. Oh no, stamping up, up to the up the game, you put in the least expensive one first, the most expensive one second, and you get 50% off that one. Who does that? My company, that's why I love them. Okay, I also got a pack of um, a wash in beauty designer series paper. Some of our beautiful iridescent pearls. Some glitter ribbon. This is all to do our make and takes. Um, oh, I won the pearls spinning the prize wheels, so that was cool. And then we got the Fun Flower Resin Shapes with our little pack here. And also some solid faceted gems. This was my ordering special last month. And this little bag, This is these are our new treat bags. These are in the new annual catalog. It says alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. And isn't that the truth? Getting together with fellow demonstrators is just one of the funnest things that we do. So inside here is candy bars and candy and some gummies. And I didn't try this yet because I'm kind of on a diet, trying to lose some weight. Um, a Stroop waffle. Looks good. I'll eat it one of these days, but so far I've been doing pretty good. Um, even when me and Haley went out for lunch, I had a fajita salad instead of the giant massive cheeseburger with bacon and french fries. I did not have that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then a unicorn dude candy 
dispenser. So this little unicorn, it dispenses candy from the little poop hole. Is that too much information? <laughs> Guess who this came from? Dina, of course. <laughs> so it's a unicorn dew candy dispenser. Of course it is. <laughs> so funny. Oh my gosh. Love it. So that's, that's the goodies that I came home with. Now, let me see. Whoops, hang on. I got my drawer in the way. Where are my gazillion swaps? Oh, goodness. Oh, that's making me nervous. They're here someplace, you guys. I'm just not sure where. Gosh, I just... I don't know, but I'll find them and I will share those with you. Not tonight because we gotta, we gotta go, but I will find my swaps. I know they're here. Oh, I showed them to my team. So they're, they're close. <laughs> yeah. Um, I will find them and I will share them with you because they're like, wow, amazing. 78 swaps, right? Um, what? Nancy says you eat that thing that's whatever it's called with coffee. I thought I saw something about coffee here. Hot tea or coffee and it will melt the caramel in the center and waffle tastes wonderful. Oh, I love me some caramel. You guys know I love the caramel. All right, guys, I am going to let you go. Thank you so much for spending your Sunday evening with me. I can't think of anything else. Well, maybe a tropical beach with a pina colada in my hand. Maybe. Um, you want me to see? You want to see my new purse? Yeah, I don't know how I feel about my purse. I'm starting to have like second thoughts about my purse. I don't know what I'm going to do about my purse. Can I just be perfectly honest with you? I think that I'm feeling like I, I don't know if I could even exchange it or take it back or I don't know. I don't know. It it was, it was, it was, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know what to say. My purse that I bought on our drunken shopping escapade. <laughs> Anyways, if I decide to keep it, I'll share it with you. Okay. I, I don't know. I'm still feeling kind of like, what were you thinking? That's what I'm thinking. Okay, you guys, have yourselves. Yeah, buyer's remorse. That's exactly it, Judy. I'm having a little bit of that, I think. I don't know. I don't know. I'm still kind of like, I don't know. Anyways, um, you guys have yourselves a wonderful week. I will come on this week at some point and do an unboxing. And I will post that information on my blog when I'm going to do that. And somebody said, you deserve it. I know I do, but I just don't know if I do. <laughs> I've never had this kind of like, yeah, the last time, well, not the last time I bought a vehicle, but the time before that, I felt like this. Yeah, I don't know. But if I keep it, I'll show it to you guys. I might have to. I don't even know. I think I'm going to go see if there's, if there's a return policy. <laughs> I know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for spending your evening with me. I love to, um, was it expensive? Yeah, it was pretty pricey. Yeah. yeah, it was. So, hi, Kareen Mariki from Hawaii. That's what I should do. I should go to Maui. That was a lot of fun. All right, you guys, take care. I will see you sometime this week with an unboxing of all my new mini catalog stuff that came in. Can't hardly wait to spend some more time with you. If you are a member of Stamp Happy Academy... I believe that I am live on Thursday. Let me look. This is my little planner deal. And I am live on the 16th at 10 a.m. on Stamp Happy Academy. So if you are not familiar with that, head over there. www.stamphappyacademy.ning, N-I-N-G, dot com. Check it out. It is a website, the best website in the world for stampers. It has so much stuff on it. It's got 40 different, or I'm sorry, 60 different online classes on there that once you become a member, you get access to all of them. 
four new classes every month. So it's very, very cool. And for those of you that are asking questions about my, it was not a Louis Vuitton. It is a coach. Yes. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Anyways, I'll keep you posted on the purse. <laughs> Have a great night, you guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.